Is Peloton right? Is it time to drive two trucks for one money? It might be time. Hello and welcome to Trucking Answers. I'm Mark, your self-driving host. Today let's talk about Peloton and their self-driving trucks, sort of. Here's what they want to do with this and eventually it will lead to what I was saying. I'll have a link in the description so you can read more about it. So what Peloton wants to do, and this is with fleets initially, so if you get a fuel bonus, this may actually interest you. They'll set up the trucks with their technology. And so what happens is two trucks, they meet up on a road that's approved by Peloton, all right? The second truck pulls up behind the first truck. You both turn this on in the truck, each of you. The trucks talk to each other, and the second truck pulls up and drafts the first truck, kind of NASCAR-ish, okay? And what happens is uh, the first truck gets a 4.5% uh, fuel savings, and the second truck gets 10% for 7% total fuel savings between the two trucks, they said. And what is happening is the second truck is mimicking what the first truck does. So if the first driver hits their brakes, the second truck immediately hits its brakes. There's no driver lag time because it's communicating with the first truck. And this place is funded. Lockheed Martin's put money into this, Nokia. Okay, so this isn't just some fly-by-night thing. And this actually could work. On open interstates, you'll be able to do that. And there's a driver in both trucks. And if you are at a company that gives you a fuel bonus, you could realize that bonus better, although probably what they'll do is just raise the amount of the bonus to encourage you to do it. So I don't know if they'll actually be savings, that's what's touted. So either way, you, the second driver will, that, will go hands off if they turn that on and the truck will follow the first truck exactly, you know, very, very close to it. They've tested this on roads, so far it works. Because the trucks aren't touching each other, something can come in between the trucks, a car, whatever. The second driver can either turn it off by pressing the button, they can hit the brakes to turn the system off, uh, or they can, the system itself will disable it if it reads that there's a problem. For whatever reason, it will disable it and back the second truck off and by telling the first truck, get going, and the second truck will slow down. So there's many ways to do it, and it all is run out of Peloton, Peloton's uh, headquarters in California. They'll look at road conditions, uh, weather, that kind of thing. And if it's okay, when the two trucks get together, it'll turn on. If not, it'll give some kind of message that, you know, not approved right now or whatever. Eventually, they said this could go for all trucks. It won't just have to be the same fleet. And what they're saying is that owner operators could realize a fuel benefit by finding another truck. There'll be some type of app where other drivers can have this and you would be able to pull up and both of you would get uh, a good fuel savings on that by using this if they wanted to. I don't know what it would cost to install that in your truck or buy a truck that uh, has it, a new truck for owner operators. So that cost, you know, maybe more than the potential of some fuel savings at some time. So we don't know anything about that. But I think this of the, all the automated things is has the most potential right now to actually work. This could work because it's only in certain areas and it currently it'll be all on one fleet, it could work. And um, if the fleet doesn't increase the fuel mileage bonus, you can actually find other people to do this with. It would have to be a large fleet. If you have four trucks, it's not gonna be that helpful, but it'll be large fleets first, like all this stuff is because of its expense. So expect that at large fleets first, you could get some fuel uh, bonus money out of this if you're a fleet uh, you know, driving uh, for a company. So that's it, Peloton, could they, could they have this? Eventually, they won't need the second driver. Right, that's what I would see eventually in the future is that you would stop at an area and the two of you would link up in some kind of pull off area and then the two trucks would pull out on the highway to go however far down to a second area where you'd pull off and then the second truck would be broken off of it or whatever. But it would be just like two trucks. I don't know why they don't just allow, you know, what I used to call turnpike doubles, right? 253s or 248s together as a set of doubles all over the interstate. If they're gonna allow this, you know, why don't they just allow you to pull two trailers uh, all over down the interstate? You know, who knows? It's only in certain areas. So that's the story of Peloton. Go check it out. I think, uh, you know, keeping up on this technology is important. If you lay back and go, oh, this, I'm never going to keep up with technology. You know, I'm okay with my rotary dial phone at home. And, uh, you know, that we just have a clicker remote for the TV. You're going to be left behind because this is where the industry is going. So keep up on it. Let the truck drive and uh, we'll see you on the next one.